uh, we know that they're being used for political expedience. I was called here to disclose the source of funding for the Patriotic Front campaigns. What uh, surprises us is that there were 16 political parties that participated in these elections. And so far, only the Patriotic Front is the political party that is being questioned about its source of funding. The Drug Enforcement Commission is not questioning any other political party out of the 16 political parties that participated in the elections. So this clearly is a case of witch hunt, and we know that the government wants to use institutions such as the Drug Enforcement Commission to kill the patriotic front, to kill democracy, and to create a one-party state. The laws of this land are very clear. The Constitution of the Republic of Zambia is extremely clear that there is nobody who is compelled to state the source of funding for their political party. And we want to again say to the Drug Enforcement Commission and all agencies of government that they must call all political parties that participated. We want to see UPND being questioned. We want to see all the 15 political parties that contested the elections being questioned. As a party, the Patriotic Front will not cow down. We have a very important role to play in providing checks and balances to this country. And it doesn't matter how many times we are called to the police, how many times we are called to DEC, we as a party will continue to provide the checks and balances that we deserve. The Zambian people deserve a strong opposition political party, and that's exactly what the Patriotic Front is going to do. All right, so why did they single you out uh, out of all the officials in the party, and uh, what has been determined so far out of this meeting? Well, it's very clear that I was, and I will continue to remain one of the, uh, the critical voices against the injustices and the lies of the ruling government. And as a media director, they thought that they can use these institutions to silence stop us from going out and provide the checks and balances for the people of Zambia. We know very well that this is abuse of authority and the waste of time and resources for the Anti-Corruption Commission. They are, they are trying to use and abuse these institutions of government to finish patriotic crime. But PF will not be finished. PF will stand strong. And we know that in 2026 we are bouncing back. Uh, that's what has been determined after this meeting. Well, issues of finances have nothing to do with the media director, to begin with. And secondly, I want again to reiterate that issues to do with source of funding of political parties, there is no law that compels any political party to state its source of funding. Number two, PF is not the only political party that participated in the elections. So the Drug Enforcement Commission and which a question I want the media to ask them is why are they targeting patriotic front alone? We want them also to call UPND, to call all the other political parties that participated in the elections. We want them to call them and question them. This is clearly political witch hunt, but we will not count down. This is our country. We will not count down. Charlo Chesut, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, colleagues. You've always been there for us. <laughs> They have no authority to ask us this. They have no authority. But at, at any point, are you intimidated? Do you feel intimidated by this act? No, some of us have been in this game for a very long time. And we know that the, the, the UPND is quite vindictive. And uh, you saw what happened yesterday. They came to our secretariat to try to ban the secretariat. And we have seen what has been going on, where UPND are going around beating people. Anyone who is wearing a PF t-shirt, they are beating them and undressing them. And the president of this country has said nothing about what is going on. We have 100 bus drivers that have been chased from Kulima Tower. Right now, as we are speaking, the matter is in court because these drivers are not allowed. We have people at the secretariat who have run away from their homes 
and we have seen the continuous abuse, beatings, and destruction of property by UPND cadres. And the leadership of the UPND is quiet. I want to challenge the minister of local government when he says that the cadres have been removed from the bus stations. What does he mean? Because cutters have taken over all bus stations. And as we are speaking right now, our people from the Patriotic Front are forced to pay 1,000 kwacha to go and operate in the <coughs> area. All the bus drivers at Kulima Tower who were associated with PF have been removed. We want to challenge Horrible Garin Pombo to state this issue of saying cutters are no longer in the market. It's a lie. And uh, we we'll ask our members of parliament in parliament to raise a point of order and to take this government to task. We will not be intimidated. This is our country. We fought for independence. We are not going to fight for independence again. So let UPND concentrate on providing the promises they made to the people of Zambia. They are wasting their time. It's no longer five years. They are only four years, 11 months before we have the next elections. So they will be wasting time fishing. The time to fish is gone. Let them just provide leadership and make sure that they provide according to the promises they made. I want to thank you once again and we'll continue to inform you whenever we are coming here. I appreciate it. Okay, thank you. Mr. Monza, mm -hmm. you, you're, you're asking DEC to call all the other 15 yes, political. What if them. they don't do it? What's next from the you? The Zambian people realize that this is truly what happened. Because it's not only PF that participated in the elections, it's all the political parties. So we want to see by UPND, the Secretary General, they, they should also call them and ask them where they were getting money for financing of their campaigns. We want to see the socialists. We want to see the Kalala. We want to see everybody paraded here. Because all of us who went into this election, we all participated. We all had billboards. We all had adverts. We all spent money on campaigning. It's not only PF. Like I've said, there's no law that compels these people. And I feel sorry for them because they're being missed. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.